<laughs> All right, so this one we're going to graph y equals negative two thirds x plus one. So we need to get some points and draw a line um, on the grid here. And um, we're, it's suggested to use these points. So in other words, it's suggested to use these x values. So like each point here is x, y, x, y, right? And the y's are, are blank, and so they've given you some suggested x, x values. So I'm going to make a little uh, table, I guess. Um, and um, we will use uh, these points. And uh, let's start with when x is negative 3. x is negative 3, y is negative 2 thirds times negative 3 times x plus 1. So please press pause on the video and try that yourself. All right, so I hope you all press pause and give it a try. I'll go through it slowly now. So you plug negative 3 in for x. That's the first thing, right? Now we've got to go negative 2 thirds times negative 3. Um, I'll just write that out slowly. Like, like you can put that over 1. See, negative 3 is the same thing as negative 3 over 1, right? Or like the number, say, 17 is the same thing as like 17 over 1. So you can put any integer over 1, and it turns into a fraction. I'm just going to write this out like... I'm going to beat this to death. It's negative two thirds times, you know, negative three over one, right? And uh, I guess most students, oh, sorry, then we have a plus one. Don't forget the plus one, right? And I guess most students actually like to multiply these fractions. That's fine. Negative two, you've got negative times negative, which makes a positive, right? Uh, two times three is six over three times one is three. So this whole thing becomes a positive 6 over 3, and then don't forget that we have a plus 1, right? And so I hope you all can see. So 6 over 3, everybody, that's got to be... That's just 2, isn't it? And then 2 plus 1. So this whole thing works out to be 3, right? Okay with that? Yes. Okay, that. So, uh, and so I have a question is what's, there's a slightly faster way of doing this. Instead of actually multiplying the tops, what could we have done? Um, cross cancel. Cross cancel, yes. Yeah. So three into three once, three into three once. And then we'd have like a negative two times like a negative one, which would just make two. So you could have cross canceled. Or, you, or even here, you could just do that, put that over one, go, okay, it's, you know, the threes cross cancel. I got negative two times negative one. You know, negative two times negative one is just positive two. So you could just skip from here to here if you wanted to. So I wrote the whole thing out just to be the, the desk to make it clear for everybody, right? But you guys don't have to write it all out as long as you're understanding what's going on. That's fine. So the next point, now the next point is when x is zero. So let's all do that. Negative two thirds times zero plus one. And please press pause on the video and try that yourself, everybody. All right, so this one is just, you plug zero in for x, and we got negative two-thirds times zero plus one. Negative two-thirds times zero is just zero. Zero plus one gives one. So that's that one. And then the last point is when x is three. So let's plug in three for x. So if three, x is three, we plug three in here, and we get negative two-thirds times three plus one. So everybody, please press pause on the video and try that yourself. Okay, so we put three in, and um, you know, that's just three is the same thing as three over one. So any number can be written itself over one, right? And you know, these threes cross cancel, like three into three goes once, three into three goes once, so we get negative two times one, which is just negative two, and then we got plus one. And that all makes, you know, negative two plus one is just negative one, right? Yes. So, so that's the answer that some students like to do it a bit longer. They can go, you know, negative two over three times three over one plus one, and then they like to say, okay, well, that's, you know, a negative six over three plus one, and that's like a negative two plus one, and that's negative one. So the answer is negative one. I'm not, I don't really mind 
how you guys are doing it. Um, just write neatly, take your time, and 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 uh, and that's all. All right. So so here's our points. When x is negative three, y is three. When x is zero, y is one. When x is three, y is negative one. And notice, everyone, that we have a denominator of three here, and we're plugging in multiples of three. And that means that we don't have any fractions for y values. In fact, we could have plugged in like stuff like, you know, six or nine or like negative nine or negative 12 or like 15 or whatever. Like these are all multiples of three as well, and they will all give us um, whole number or integer answers um, because the denominator is three on the fraction here. So... So anyway, we've got to plug these, put these points on the graph. So the first one is ne x is negative 3, y is 3. So there's the x-axis. Um, so in fact, uh, what I'll do is I'll say to you all, look, please press pause on the video and, and plot these three points and then play the video and check your answer. Okay, I hope you've all tried it. So x is negative 3, y is 3. That's that point there. X is 0, Y is 1, that point there. X is 3, Y is negative 1, is that point there, right? Yes. And now draw a line through it, and there we go. All right. So there's our Y equals negative 2 thirds X plus 1. And I can't help myself, but this is of the form Y equals MX plus B. B is the y-intercept. See the y-axis? It's going through the y-axis at 1. See the m is negative 2 thirds, our slope. And if we look at the rise over the run of this line, um, if I take a point here um, and I go to this point, I'll be going over across 1, 2, 3, and I'll be dropping down 2, down 2. Get to the next point, I'll go across 3. And then I'll drop down two. Get to the next point, I'll go across three and down two. Over three, down two. All right? And so, as you can see, we're running three. We're going across three. And then we're rising. We're dropping negative two. And you can all see that that is the slope. Our slope M is negative two-thirds, right? 